In our previous discussion, we talked about recognizing when to seek help. Now let's go one step deeper and understand your menstrual cycle, which is the key to natural conception. Ever wondered what really happens inside your body each month? Your menstrual cycle isn't just your period. It's a finely tuned hormonal dance that prepares your body for pregnancy every single month. Today, let's break down your cycle step by step so you truly understand what ovulation is and when does it happen and how does it affect your fertility. So what is the menstrual cycle? The menstrual cycle is a time from the first day of one period to the first day of your next period. On an average, it generally lasts 28 days. But anything between 21 days to 35 days is considered as normal. Your cycle has four key phases. They are called as the menstrual phase, the follicular phase, the ovulation phase, and then the luteal phase. Each phase is controlled by hormonal changes involving estrogen, progesterone, follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, and together they can determine when you can conceive. Coming to the first phase, which is the menstrual phase, it usually starts or lasts from day one to day five of your cycle. This is the phase that most of us associate with our period or when the uterine line shedding happens. When pregnancy doesn't occur, the lining of the uterus, which is called as the endometrium, sheds leading to a bleeding. Estrogen and progesterone are very low and your body is getting ready to start a new cycle. It's totally normal to feel tired, have cramps, mood swings during this time. Next is the follicular phase which uh, lasts from day 1 to day 13 of your menstrual cycle. During this phase, um, usually what happens is that there is continued bleeding but simultaneously the pituitary gland in your brain releases the follicular stimulating hormone which stimulates the several small follicles in your ovaries to grow and each follicle contains an immature egg but usually one dominant follicle matures meaning only one egg gets released per month. As the follicle grows it produces more estrogen which thickens your uterine lining creating a cozy environment for a possible pregnancy. High estrogen also signals your brain that the egg is almost ready to be released. So this leads us to the next phase which is called as the ovulation phase which is approximately uh, day 14 in a 28 day cycle and this is calculated generally two weeks prior to your expected period. This is a phase where you have a luteinizing hormone surge and this causes ovulation. So this brings about a maturation as well as release of the egg from your ovary. And the egg usually travels down through the fallopian tube and it usually is alive for about 12 to 24 hours. This is your fertile window. The time when you are most likely to conceive if the sperm is present. Since the sperm can live inside the female body for about 5 days, your fertile period actually starts a few days before ovulation. So if you are tracking fertility, ovulation tests or cervical mucus changes which become generally clear and stretchy like an egg white are great indicators of ovulation. Following this on is the luteal phase which lasts from day 15 to day 28 of your cycle. So the, after the ovulation the empty follicle becomes a structure called as a corpus luteum which releases progesterone hormone. This is required for supporting the uterine lining preparing it for the fertilized egg. If the pregnancy doesn't occur the corpus luteum generally shrinks or breaks down and the hormone levels fall both the estrogen and progesterone. This leads to shedding of your uterine lining which is the beginning of your next period. If the pregnancy does occur, the progesterone continues to rise and it supports the pregnancy. Why understanding this matters? Well, knowing your cycle isn't just about predicting your periods. It's about understanding your body. It helps you identify your fertile days for conception. It helps you to recognize hormonal imbalance or irregular cycles, spotting early signs of thyroid disorders, polycystic ovarian syndrome, or even conceiving issues. Every woman's cycle is unique. So track yours with a few months give, and give, this gives you a real insight into your health and fertility. So the next time you think about your period, remember, it's part of an amazing cyclical process your body runs every month and be proud of it. If you found this helpful, hit the like button, subscribe and share it with someone who wants to understand their body better. In my next video, we'll talk about how to track ovulation naturally and what signs tell you that you're fertile.